Historical Commission meeting to order. And I have to ask, is anybody recording? Uh, Light Cam is recording, and uh, Jerry Taylor is on FaceTime. 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 Okay. So, uh, everyone read your minutes of the last meeting. Under correspondence, second line, uh, South needs to be capitalized. The S and sub. Make a motion to accept the minutes. As corrected. Uh, as corrected. Okay. As corrected. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Those Aye. opposed? To, to accept the minutes as corrected. Um, Treasurer's report. Sherry? Um, we started out with uh, 4000 This is the townhouse account. Uh, $4,321.73, and um, the new electric bill was thirteen sixty six. and um, Winberg's um, added a dollar to the bill that we paid, which I reported being paid. Now, whether that was because you have to pay it by a certain date to, to get a discount, and we didn't, so it was... Uh, five, um, uh, five, eighty-seven, five, seventy-eight, and uh, but uh, now it's five, seventy-eight. So our new balance is four thousand three hundred seven dollars and seven cents. And then the 3800 for the encumbered walkway, and the Historical Commission account remains $500. Okay, I have a updated Winberg's bill that came under correspondence. And what they did was, um, the charge was 478, and then they added three months, um, three finance charges for October, November, and December, and then they took off two of the charges. So instead of a dollar fifty more, it was only fifty cents more. So right now we owe them fifty cents on the bill. Oh. Okay. So the bill is dated um, the thirty-first of January. Okay. So the payment for four seventy-eight did go in, but they want us to pay by 15 more cents. <clears throat> okay. Uh, well, uh, you know, I don't check the mail all the time. So if you get a mail, a, a bill, you know, if you check the mail and get a bill, you know, give it to me as soon as Yeah, I just can today. I can I check mean, the mailbox today. Okay. So I'll I don't know if the town will pay. I will take care of it, okay? Okay. okay. I'll take care of that. I'll give you 50 cents if you deliver it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to pay the 50 cents. I'll, I'll forget to deliver it. That's the problem. <laughs> Motion to accept the treasurer's report as, as presented. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? Motion carries. Correspondence? Uh, it's, it's accepted. Uh, moving on, correspondence. Okay, we have a Winberg spill. For 50 cents. Oh, here we go. It's 50 cents. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have a letter dated February 7th from the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, from the Mass Historical Commission. <clears throat> it's
It's about the South Coast Rail Project Phase mm -hmm. 1, and it's going to Barbara Newman, who is the Chief Regulatory Division, Chief of Regulatory Division, New England District, U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. And basically it says that Mass um, Historical has reviewed the final memorandum of agreement received January 28th for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers federal undertaking within proportions of the project re referenced above in Berkeley, Lakeville, and Fall River. And we talked about this last month. The final MO memorandum agreement does not address the MHC's January 10th comments to clearly show the proposed federal undertaking in relation to significant historic and archaeological resources. The revised citation included in stipulation Roman numeral 25B, page 5, for stations 2145 plus 50 to station 2154 plus 50 within Myrick Street Historic District describes a specific appendix C. <coughs> Permit area map, sheet C-1, appendix C, sheet C-1, does not show the stations. The appendix C figure shows vague yellow polygons as the core's permit area that are not to scale in the map key. The MHC is unavailable to ascertain the portion of the federal undertaking in the Myrick Street District to which the MOA stipulation applies. Please revise Appendix C and relevant citations in the MOA text to include and reference current scale proposed condition project plans at the base map showing the federal undertaking in relation to identified historic and archaeological resources. Design plans at 30% to 90% design level have been developed for the project. MHC looks forward to reviewing the revised MOAs that incorporate the information requested above for signature and to continue consultation to avoid, minimize, and mitigate adverse effects to significant historic and archaeological resources. That's the cemetery that's back there, right? So that's what they're sending to the Army Corps of Engineers, and we get copies along with Berkeley, Fall River, Historical Commissions, and other people. So that's the... So the project. Army Corps of Engineers responsible to identify the historical significance? The, um, they want everything outlined on their maps. Yeah. They should have good. them documented on their maps, good. which is good. So maybe they'll put the train around the cemetery. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. Any other correspondence? Okay, um, long range plans under unfinished business. Anybody got anything? Long range plans. Um, scholarship. So I had, um, I have a suggestion that could come under long range thinking, but I'd like us to think through creative ways of how to use the scholarship money differently than what we have historically because it doesn't seem to be a high demand for the scholarship. One idea could be that we promote this to teachers and have them have apply for $250 for a historical or environmental project in Lakeville so that that becomes our audience more be like a grant? Yeah, exactly. Um, I'd like to for us to just think through what to do because what I think we have promoted it and the Eagles tend to not go for this. They want to fundraise on their own. Okay, that seems fine. You know, um, yeah, that, that I think, yeah, I think agreeable to me. It. The Garden Club started doing grants. We have a scholarship for students, yeah. but we also did a grant. It was a lot less money than that, and we had um, teachers submit a proposal, and it was really a reimbursement for materials. Yeah. So, um, and we nice. had two last year, so. Do you want to contact the school? <laughs> Of schools? I can get you our information. We that would be great. Instead, yeah. instead of reinventing the Yeah, and then I'll write something up and bring it back here for us to look at. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Yep. okay. And an idea for consideration. We'd have to vote on it. I did know on the um, the Lakeville COA newsletter said that Gage Ramston had been elevated to Eagle Scout. Yes. Yep. So that was nice to see that. Um. Next business, townhouse, unfinished business. 
We're just waiting for spring. Scholarship we just did. Um, cemeteries. Nothing new. Nothing new. Uh, Lakeville Perspectives. You're going to contact um, Mr. Gifford? Was it Gifford? Richard Gifford. All right, I haven't done that yet, but I can. Yeah, I think he would do an interesting talk. I think he would. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, he's a, an attorney, and uh, it's a lot of it's based on deed research and things like that. Uh, did anybody go to that meeting that he gave in Dartmouth about the churches, the, um, oh, the meeting houses in Dartmouth? Yeah, I and went. Uh, the, the title was Three Indian Churches in Dartmouth, Westport, and Little Compton were the uh, yes. locations. And yes, I did hear him do that talk, and he did a very good job. I've got to get in touch with him. We talked about having him for October, Archaeology Month. That and would so, be great. Yeah, you know, um, so I'll do that. Did we have a meeting house here in Lakeville at any time? Well, Middlemore had four. One of them was at Betty Snack. It, <coughs> it was burned down in King Philip's War. Um, uh, John Sassaman was the pastor at that church. Oh. Yep. You think he's done work on that? That would be interesting to our... Well, yeah, that's what I was going to ask him, if he could do... He, he kind of concentrates on um, the South Coast area, but I'm sure he has other material. Dave. <laughs> Dave, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've lost my place. Your hmm? Your over there. Oh, okay. That's why I lost my place. You're the uh, We're at Veterans Cannon. Veterans Cannon, Honor Roll, and Bricks. Anything new? We haven't received in any brick applications. And we didn't. We don't have any information on the cannon yet. Not, well, we're still waiting. Nothing further. Inventory next. Inventory? Anybody have anything? I haven't done anything this month. I haven't done anything this month, I have to say. I was working on to vote to those who serve instead. <laughs> well, one thing I, 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 I was thinking of, maybe we should do an inventory, a quick inventory sheet on the Pierce Cemetery at the end of Adams Lane. You know? You know, maybe so I'm going to just do that one right now? And yeah, do it that off. one. You know, okay. as a quick one, and we okay. submit it to Mass Historical okay. because I think they're looking for information okay. on that sure. for the railroad you got project. It. Absolutely. <clears throat> you know? Yep. Um, one hundred seventy fifth anniversary. I think that we need to go before the selectmen and ask for um, some appointments to be made towards that so that we can start doing some planning, serious planning. That seems fine to me. I mean, it's nine years, but we started like two or three years mm -hmm. before that actually having events to kind of build some interest, so. Okay. Yes, that Approach. seems fine, yes. We should do that. You know what's a, what, a, what a thought is, too? We could take the books that we wrote and do the event again. Because there are a the lot same of, ones we did. Yeah, yeah. There are a lot of new people in town. It would be nice to do some other places. I know you've said Highland Road is one that yeah. would like to be done. Yeah, you kind of put that off, but yeah. yes, it, uh, it's very doable. And I mean, we do have, we did Pierce Street, but we didn't do anything on Pickens. There's right. a lot of yep. stuff on Pickens Street. Yep. Uh, one thing I, I, I wanted to mention we was. New areas of town, like South. Uh, yeah, right. Um, back when Mary Fuller was on the commission, uh, she organized a selectman's meeting in the old town hall. And people played the roles of the characters that were mentioned in the town report. And she did like a, a script 
that everybody followed. You know, and that would, would be nice to go back into the old town hall and, you know, have people represent the uh, people that were at one of those old town meetings and, um, and put it on, you know, Lake Camp. Right. You know? so, uh, a reenactment of uh, yeah. the process of getting Lake to be idea. its own oh, town. Yeah. And even... maybe to choose how the, the name Lakeville was chosen. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, any of that, certainly, yeah. Um, I think the historical museum has some records of that. Well, um, mostly it's in Gladys Vegas' history. Yes. Uh, but but it's, it's, uh, I mean, it actual exists. minutes of, of that, of those uh, meetings. Right, when the motion was made and everything. Yeah, they're in the town reports. Yes. And if we went back through the records of the historical commission, mm -hmm. we might find in the write up that Mary Fuller did mm -hmm. and just reuse it. Oh, that's a good that would idea. save a lot. Well, let's not do it tonight. No. Yeah. <laughs> it was something to think of. It was also, we have nine years. <laughs> the library also had at one point, in, I think it was 1976, they actually had a play they put on that had to do with, I'm not sure if it was the, well, we were when we were part of Middlebar, so I think it, and I remember there's a picture of Jim Norris wearing a powdered wig that was in the Middleburg Gazette or um, the Asona paper that we had. Oh, okay. So one of them. So we can check into those things too. See what else was there. Yeah, fine. Um, index of history. The uh, index of the history. I'm working on it. Uh, you know, I'll have it out before too long. The trip. That's to Canton. Canton. Yeah, that's the Canton Paul Revere trip. So Jerry, I think you were the only one who said that there are dates that you cannot do that trip. So right. I'll look in my email to see if I have those dates, but if you know when you would be free, if you could send me that span of time, I will call the Canton Historical Society again. Okay, there's 10 days in April. Do you know those and, dates? Um, let me I'll, let me just get my my calendar. Okay. okay? Yep. <clears throat> okay. Um, April first. Uh, you want the dates I'm gone or the dates I'm free? The dates you're free. Okay, the f first through the 10th. Okay. And the 22nd through the 30th. Okay. Of April. And then May 1st to Oh, the 26th, and I'm leaving Memorial Day, so I won't be able to participate in okay. that, unfortunately. Yeah. So we were thinking yeah. of a Saturday. Uh-huh. Uh, any Saturdays that people are not free? May 11th. Okay. Well, first Saturday is always bad for me. Okay. They have a genealogy meeting. Is that the fourth? I don't know what they fall under okay. in my head. Okay. I think it's a fourth. I'm not free yeah, the eleventh either. Okay. Okay. You're thinking of April? Uh, either oh. or. Okay. I'd like to give the man three or four different dates. Yeah. Uh, it can't be the uh, May eleventh because uh, Nancy and I will have the garden club plant sale. Yep. Um, but any Saturday. Okay. So I think I'll give him a couple dates in April and a couple dates in May, and then we can try from there. Okay. Okay.
Okay, moving on. Uh, Native American statue. I have the telephone numbers to be in touch. I have a, I'm going to call them tomorrow. For who? Um, the Indian Commission on Indian Affairs, which is under Mass Government. It's under the Bureau of uh, Department of Housing and Community Development. Okay. And they're in Cambridge Street in Boston. Okay. The, the, the fellow that's interested in doing the statue, uh, attorney Dan Kasari, uh, he said he was going to write to uh, Linda Coombs, I guess who was the historian for the Wampanoag tribe in um, Mashpee. And so I haven't heard back from him if she's responded. But it wouldn't hurt to contact somebody else, too. Well, there is um, John Jim Peters is the executive director of this uh, commission. And okay. And Bern Stanley is his administrative assistant, so I thought I'd contact that person. Would um, not hurt to contact any of them to get things moving. And then there are, um, there's members of the, um, the group are appointed for, I think it's three-year terms. There's one, two, three, four, five. The seven people, but there are two openings. There's no one from Western Massachusetts or the Wampanoag tribe at Gayhead, but there's um, the North Shore, uh, Boston, Suffolk County, <coughs> and then there's um, Barnesville and Plymouth County, which is Gale Hill. So I thought she would probably be the person from this area. Well, that's good, yeah. So we'll get in touch with um, Bern Stanley tomorrow and see if we can get some kind of dialogue going, okay, participation. That's okay. Uh, moving on, South Coast Rail Project. So we just had the updated letter that doesn't say anything yep. about Lakeville. That was all about um, Myrex, Berkeley. Okay. Um, other business under unfinished business. <coughs> okay. New business. Uh, demolition sign-offs? None. Uh, gifts? No. Other business. Okay. Um, on the anything first. Anything happening? Well, excuse me. Anything happening with the Elliot's bond? Not, not right not now. Um, the other project that we had was the train station, and they have removed all the tires and other things that were in that same area, and there is um, there's some cones around the building, but nothing's happened to the building yet the train station on uh, Bedford Street, and nothing's So that's happening. going forward? Yeah. And we approved the demolition of that back in okay. a while ago. And then um, the Elliott Farms, we approved that too, but there's nothing, nothing's happened right yet. Sure. It's winter there, right? It's winter here. It's winter here, Jerry. <laughs> so there's nothing else there. The only thing is that the um, the Lakeville Historical Society is an announcement is having a program on the Ames family, and it's a Mr. Menino who is the um, speaker who's kind of be coming on February. Well, it's the fourth Wednesday. February twenty seventh at the COA at seven o'clock. And that family's from Easton, right? The Easton, right. Stone and they were the College shovel company, yeah. and the, they were major benefactors, I believe, the lives, a whole lot of things yeah. that they paid. Yeah. So he's going to come and talk about the Ames family. Nice. And uh, the speaker is the nephew of the former mayor of Boston. Yeah, Mr. Menino. Menino. Yeah. Menino. Oh, That's Menino. great. Yep. Yeah. And so it should be a very interesting topic. Uh, one thing I would like to mention is that I think it's on um, April, the first Saturday in April, I think it's April 2nd, uh, in, this, in this room there is scheduled a workshop on um, April 6th. The, the future of Lakeville, and it's going to be on cultural resources an open space. So that includes um, the Historical Commission and everyone is welcome to come and listen to the speakers 
and to contribute information uh, that you might think be would be significant <coughs> to, for the next uh, master plan that's being developed. That's April 6th? I think the 2nd, the 1st Saturday. Okay, it's the 6th. It's the 6th. It's the 6th? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm off by It's Ma March days. 2nd. March 2nd. Is there something here March 2nd? That's the first Saturday in March. Well, it was going to be in February, so they moved it to March. What does that fall in? The 2nd. On the 2nd, okay. I have so it's, plan yeah, it's the 2nd of March. Okay, March 2nd. From, okay. From 10 to noon. It's, um, it's going to be about developing things for the open space plan, master plan, rather, sorry. Uh, and everyone's welcome to go. Um, anybody have any other issues? Our next meeting is the 20th of March. Our next meeting is when? March 20th. And when's the April meeting? We're changing that? Yeah, we changed that. To the 10th. The 10th? Mm -hmm. Well, on the same night, I have an archaeological meeting in Middleborough. And so. The 10th? Of April? Yeah, probably. I don't know what the speaker is going to be. I guess I'll um, have to show up. <laughs> have to have so a you might find me missing. I'm sorry. Right. Uh, tonight, the speaker was a person coming in costume. And he was going to demonstrate how Vikings fought. Wow. And you picked us. Hmm? And you picked us. We're honored. So I had to pick between going to that and coming to this. <laughs> and I got here because I didn't know if we'd have a quorum. You just love coming here. Well, that's true, yes. Um, okay, motion to adjourn. Second. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? We are adjourned.